Summary The Married at First Sight Season 17 cast members have formed strong bonds and remained friends after their divorces. Some cast members have moved on and found new relationships since the show, while others are focusing on their careers. Despite the drama and challenges, the cast members continue to keep in contact with each other and reflect on their experiences. The Married at First Sight Season 17 couples are fast approaching Math's Decision Day, a journey that pairs from the 13th installment once took. There was hope that the current season would be more successful. However, MAPS doesn't have the best track record in terms of matching couples that stay married. If the last few seasons indicate what's to come, it's important to buckle up for the long haul, as the drama continues long after the cameras stop rolling. The dev season might not have been a roaring success, but many bonds were formed between the Married at First Sight season 13 cast members in the past few years. Some connections were more unexpected than others. Related 20 best reality TV shows right now television is being impacted by the ongoing entertainment industry strikes, leaving many turning to reality TV. What are the best shows right now? Brett Layden on Decision Day, Brett Layden decided to split with her husband, Ryan Ignasiak, and they went their separate ways. She may have parted with her husband, but she's remained friends with some of her season 13 co-stars. Brett was seen in Merla Faria's TikTok of them and co-star Rachel Gordillo, as all enjoyed a little carpool karaoke. However, since Brett keeps her accounts private, updates on her life usually come from snippets seen in her friends' posts. She has decided to stay connected with the show as a fan, sharing her thoughts on the MAPS season 14 couples with people. Ryan Ignasiak since divorcing Brett, Ryan has maintained contact with some other MAPS season 13 husbands. He attends workouts and dinners with them. Ryan has even attended an Astros game with Married at First Sight's Dr. Viviana. She didn't return for the show and is now able to dedicate more time to outdoor projects and opportunities. Ryan still works in the Houston oil gas industry but finds time to appear for maths. He returned to the show for season 14's, Where Are They Now?, special episode, where he may have had some budding chemistry with Alyssa Elman. The two were flirty with each other, and while they seemed to have more chemistry together than they had with their previous partners, the romance was short-lived. Jose San Miguel Jose San Miguel and his wife, Rachel Gordillo, initially chose to stay together. Still, after sharing that they'd broken up after filming maths before later getting back together, they announced via Us Weekly that they had filed for divorce and would be officially parting ways. He has since continued working as a mission flight specialist for NASA and keeps in contact with other season 13 husbands. Avid investigative maths fans have taken notice of a new woman in a few of Miguel's Instagram posts. While he hasn't explicitly or publicly confirmed the nature of their relationship, he has responded to comments. He's let fans know that he's happy with his life and is continuing to move forward since his divorce. Rachel Gordillo Rachel hasn't slowed down since her time on the popular reality TV show. After filming and later going through her divorce, she stayed close to her season 13 co-stars, Johnny Lamb and Brett. 
She has also formed a strong bond with Merla. When she's not in Houston, Rachel travels worldwide and chronicles her adventures on Instagram and her personal blog, Booked at First Sight. She also doesn't shy away from her experience on maths and posts occasional light-hearted reels that reflect on her marriage. Rachel also discusses the feedback she's received from fans since filming. Gil Cuero Gil Cuero was a math season 13 fan favorite, and taking his side in his relationship with Merla was easy. The experts on the show were hoping that being opposites would attract the two. Eventually, it did, but their differing values made it hard for their relationship to last through the difficulties that come with a new marriage after filming the show, via E! News. Now, Gil spends a lot of his time traveling. He's currently partnering with an agency to offer travel experiences. He wants to encourage others to travel to vacation destinations curated by the company. While Gil insists that he's happily single and, in a relationship with his passport, via Gil's Instagram, some maths have still tried suggesting he, save, former maths from their bad relationships. Still, Gil doesn't entertain the idea and instead pokes fun at the notion that he should be anyone's savior in his videos on his socials. Merla Feria close during the season 13 reunion and the where are they now? Episode, Johnny and Merla spoke about the friendship they had formed after filming and how they became closer after her divorce from Gil. There was speculation about whether their relationship ever became romantic, but they both remain adamant that they are just friends and have never dated. Besides Johnny, she's remained close to Brett and Rachel as well. Her social media presence mainly includes workout videos and healthy lifestyle posts. She likely remains single. Johnny Lam after his split from Bao Hong Ho Ang, Johnny has moved forward. He and Merla became quick friends after each of their divorces. Still, he's been seen hanging out with the women on his season, except his ex-wife Bao, and even met up with Merla while traveling in Europe last summer. He appears to be in a relationship with Kayla Fisher, a health and fitness entrepreneur. Bao Hong Ho Ang after Decision Day, Bao and Johnny divorced, and she began dating her season 13 co-star, Zach Freeman, who had previously been married to Michaela Clark. The relationship caused quite a bit of drama before eventually ending due to more cheating allegations that were brought up against Zach, according to Us Weekly. Bao is now focusing on her work at MD Anderson Cancer Center and spending lots of time with her family and dog. Zach Freeman Zach and Michaela were not the best maths couple, and it was hard to root for them. While Zach was portrayed in a better light than Michaela, it was obvious they would each be happier with someone else. Zach said during the math season 13 Where Are They Now? episode that he could see Bao becoming that happiness, but after a few months of dating, the two eventually split. The software engineer has since largely stayed out of the public eye. Michaela Clark Michaela chose not to attend the overnight outing with the other cast members at the official close of the Houston season. She was seen as a villain due to some of her outbursts of frustration regarding her relationship, but she says that she wants to work on herself and move forward. While Michaela is still healing from her experience on Married at First Sight, she hasn't completely put it behind her and still keeps in contact with other members of the Houston cast, most of them being the other women, as well as Johnny. Married at First Sight airs Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Lifetime. Sources. Merla Feria, TikTok.
People, Us Weekly, Jose San Miguel, Instagram, Rachel Gordillo, Instagram, Booked at First Sight, E! News, Gil Cuero, Instagram, Johnny Lamb, Instagram Married at First Sight based on the Danish version of the series, Married at First Sight is a reality show, social experiment that gives singles a chance to find a lifelong partnership with one particular caveat. They must agree to marry a stranger arranged the moment they meet. Experts provide counseling and guidance as they help couples navigate their new marriage with their unknown partner and highlight the journey of the newlyweds from wedding to honeymoon to beginning their new lives together. At the end of eight weeks, couples will decide to stay married or divorce.